Here's a sneak peek at Greet Peak that we give you every day here on News Channel 34. And it looks like they got some good man-made snow up there. And today's actually going to be a very good day to go skiing. Not going to be too cold. Temperatures in the mid-30s and not going to be too windy either. So today's definitely a good, idea, a good idea. Maybe take your loved one on Valentine's Day. That's a good idea for a date. There you go. Advi dating advice and weather here on News Channel 34. We try. We try to do everything here on News Channel 34. Uh, temperatures around the region, uh, they were basically all at 19 degrees last half hour. And we've got a little bit warmer in Elmira, 20 degrees, Syracuse there at 21, Ithaca and Binghamton still holding at 19, Glens Falls and Albany as well. Take a look quickly at this pocket of cold air up here in Watertown, negative 2 degrees, Saranac Lake, negative 6 degrees, and that's just a couple of hours north here. So there's a big change in temperature right here. So things are getting very windy, and we are seeing some lake effect snow well up to the north in the Tug Hill Plateau area, but that's definitely not going to come down here. We are seeing a good amount of cloud cover. A lot of this is left over from this big system that passed through the last couple of days, and then there's some cloud cover through central New York. That'll stay with us probably through the morning, but then those clouds will start to break off as we head through the early part of the afternoon and into the, af into the, into the evening as well. So we are going to see a decent day with some peaks of sun out there. Right now we are seeing some snow, snow flurries around, and that is some lake enhanced snow flurries is what we're calling. Not the lake effect stuff that we're seeing way up to the north, but the lakes are helping to fuel these storms a little bit, giving them a little bit of juice. And actually, the Finger Lakes up here, Cuga and Seneca Lake, are also helping to fuel these, these uh, snow flurries as well. So we're seeing a couple of showers go through the region as you can see here on the radar it's all pretty light stuff going through northern Broome County right now Tioga County that should push off to the southeast and then we will see uh, we will see those snow showers clearing and tapering by the end of the morning then there's an area of clearing behind it. you can see these showers starting to develop in central New York then there's an area of clearing that you're gonna see right there and that's gonna be our weather today it's gonna be a, a clear day as far as precipitation goes definitely different than what we've seen the last three days where we saw a lot of slush and ice and sleet snow rain pretty much much everything that you can think of the last couple of days. None of that today. It'll be a precipitation free day, which will be nice. However, if you look over here in uh, Wisconsin and Michigan over the over these Great Lakes, over Lake Michigan and Superior, that is going to start coming towards us. And that's our next weather system that should get here tomorrow afternoon. It's going to cool temperatures off for the weekend as well. Slight chance of flurries this morning. If you look out the window right now, you may see a heavy uh, snow shower right now, but it's not going to last too long because we will see some clearing for the midday with a temperature of around 27 degrees. Temperatures will be warming up for to uh, around 31 at the airport, 34 in the valleys. I say warming up because comparatively to what we've seen the last couple of days, it's going to feel warm with really no wind out there. The sun is going to warm things up, and we will see uh, we will see a good amount of sun mixed in with some clouds too. More clouds will develop overnight with lows in the low 20s, and those clouds that are developing overnight are ahead of that Clipper system. It's called an Alberta Clipper because it's right coming right out of Alberta, Canada, and clipping the northern part of the country. That'll give us a round of snow showers, maybe one to three inches tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. After that, there's an Arctic uh, mass of air that's going right behind that, coming right down from Canada. That's why the temperatures are so cold for Saturday. Even though we are going to see a decent amount of sun on Saturday, it is going to be ineffective sun, and we'll get up to a high of only 22 degrees. Then Sunday and Monday, we're looking right now at a system that's set to come up from the south. It's probably going to give us mostly a mixture of precipitation, probably mostly rain at this point, but we'll definitely keep you updated that, on that here on News Channel 34. Now let's take a look at today's My Weather Art winner. Today's winner is Jimmy DeMond of Oxford and Jimmy drew a great picture here with uh, with with it looks like some kind of a some kind of a, a, a a nice spring day with a lawn chair there, and uh, it's definitely, it makes you nostalgic for the spring weather, which we will see in just a couple of weeks. It is the middle of February, so just a couple of weeks, and we start seeing that spring weather that Jimmy drew right there. Kids, you can easily get in on this contest. It's, it's open between the ages of 3 and 10. Just draw a weather theme picture, drop it off here at the, Dis at the Discovery Center or here or at the station. For more information on the contest, go to our website, newschannel34.com, and click on My Weather on the left-hand side of the page. So Mother Nature showing us some love today All right. for Valentine's Day. Thank Thanks, Jordan. Thanks, yes. Jimmy. Absolutely. Right after the break, we'll have yesterday's winning lottery numbers. And in Samantha Hensel's classroom of the day, Valentine's Day came early for some MacArthur students. They made pillowcases of love.